Welcome, Team Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle, to your ninth elimination. Hello and welcome. Been a crazy, been a crazy season, right? I gotta say, y'all have been keeping me on my toes at these eliminations. I truly have no idea what's coming every week. It's very fun. Last week at our elimination, we said goodbye to one of our returning players, Jordan, who had pulled a Hail Mary. They had pulled out the speech of the century to stay on and finally their time came. This week, after our challenge on, uh, uh, on our challenge day, Hava uh, arose victorious with individual immunity. Let's go. Congratulations, Good job, Hava. Hava. Uh, before we get into the questions, I would like to go ahead and welcome our jury into the room with us. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I was just talking, recounting with the contestants um, this week. The challenge was a trivia challenge. And uh, though it was different than last year's trivia, uh, this, this season we did trivia about their fellow contestants. Um, I, I encourage you, Jerry, I think it would be wise of you to go back and watch this episode when it airs, just to see how well the final six really know you all. Hava emerged victorious with a whopping nine out of 10 questions correct. I don't know if you're taking your ginkgo biloba or if you were just born with it, Hava, but I'm impressed. All right, Hava, um, I'm just gonna start with you. Um, so you won the, uh, 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 the challenge, prepare for immunity. Um, and I do just have to mention, what was really impressive was you were able to recall the nicknames that Sam and Brian used for each other baby jesus and north star talk to me about how the hell you remembered all of these things um i have a really good like long-term memory so like things that happened a while ago just like i don't have a good short-term memory um i was saying that like in high school or like just whenever i meet people it's always weird because i'll remember things that they don't remember telling me and then i come off as creepy because it's like why do you know that and it's like i know it because you told me like you told me i just remember things um so i just i remember uh, i think it was i don't know what episode it was but i just remember there was a, an elimination and i just noticed the north star baby jesus thing and as someone who just respects a good nickname i took note of that um so you gotta put respect where respect is due, so. Well, it certainly uh, helped you emerge victorious. You did, you were only one point ahead of your uh, next competitor. So it was a crucial answer. Do you think that, that the performance that you gave in that challenge, do you think that's gonna give you extra credibility with the jury? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, we'll, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. I can't speak for them. They'll speak for themselves when it's time to be spoken. That didn't make sense, but that's what I meant. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, I guess I also do have a very, very important question, which is, have you gotten your cupcake yet? Yes, I got the cupcake and it was the best cupcake I've ever had. I think it was from a place called Molly's Cupcake. And like the inside of the cupcake was like cookie dough. And like, it, it was literally the best cupcake I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that, like, I'm gonna, I, my birthday's coming up and I'm ordering cupcakes from there. Like, so it was so exciting. Oh, 
Look at that. Survivor, yeah. connecting folks with their favorite cupcakes. Yeah. I'm really happy to hear that, Hava. <clears throat> it was a well-earned reward. Um, and when is your birthday, if you don't mind it's me? It's on Friday. Oh my, so March 5th? Yes. Ah, ooh, okay. Uh, Emily, uh, since you're in here dropping some knowledge on us, um, I, gotta, I gotta ask, what are you basing tonight's vote on? Um, I don't know. To be honest, I I sometimes have the memory of a goldfish, and I did not realize that filming was tonight until around nine fifty, in my time. So around like eight fifty your time. So like, I don't know what it what happens. What the vote's gonna be based on? I don't think it's gonna be loyalty since it's only been a couple episodes since I got back. But I hope it's based off of like merit and the ability to play the game. Okay, so have you made up your mind on who you're voting for tonight? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, some confidence there. Uh, Carly. Hi. Hi, Carly. Uh, how important is timing in this game? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you caught me off guard. I was like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know. I think that it depends on what you're going for. Um, I think that you also have to understand the other players and how they think to where like you reveal knowledge or um, information you might have. Um, so I would say timing is like very important in this game, but it, it, it depends on who the person is to how you use that timing. Okay. <clears throat> so, so do planning and or flexibility come into that when it comes to timing? I feel like you're trying to reveal something to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. So no, <laughs> I'm just, look, I, I'm, I want to ask questions about strategy and about, uh, you know, everyone has a very distinctive way of approaching the game. So this yeah, is I think truly that... not, not any kind of gotcha question. Just no, wondering, <laughs> wanting to know what you, what your approach is. Hmm. Um. I forgot what you asked. <laughs> no worries. I'm asking kind of heady things. Um, but, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, so you said it depends on what you're doing when it comes to timing. Um, and I guess what I'm getting at is, I guess it, 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 it also depends on whether or not what you're talking about is something that was part of a plan or whether or not it's something that you have to react to in the moment. Can I answer the question on timing as well? I think I have a good answer for that. Yeah, Emily, please. I think like if it's like too early in the game that you shouldn't get yourself into something so contrived that you get lost on the day of voting of what you're actually supposed to do. You should save all the contrivedness to like later in the game as opposed to earlier in the game. <laughs> Meg, I see you. I see you making those faces. <laughs> And I am speaking from experience here, which is why I am taking my time in all the backstabbing and all the crazy wild ass plans that go on here. <clears throat> Thank you for that uh, different perspective, Emily. Um, so it, it's important uh, uh, to maybe let go of plans later on in the game. All right, Georgia. All right, so Georgia. Yes. Your two tightest Alliance members are here tonight, but as part of the jury. That is true. You know, Meg left us a few weeks ago. Jordan left us last week. Uh, you also used your advantage that you won at the auction last week. So my question is, what's your next move? Where do you go from here? To be honest, I've had a lot of fun playing this game because I came to this game um, to do crazy things and to get my crazy strategic survivor fill. And I feel like I have gotten that through this experience. So after Jordan was cut, um, I kind of just was like, I'm gonna just go where the wind blows me at this point. I'm not gonna like push so hard to do anything crazy because I mean, I'm, I literally, have, I've exhausted, I've exhausted everything I have. Um, and uh, I knew that, I think I knew that was why I played my special thing last week was because I was like, I have this gut feeling that 
this is the last, if I'm going to use it, it has to be now because this is going to, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, yeah, I, everything changes so quickly. So I just kind of, I, I just, I just kind of, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I know. Everyone's always trying to get me out. <laughs> You know what? Um, I you know I don't think anyone that's been watching the show would count you out just yet until the votes are cast. So we will see in a few short moments, Georgia. All right. Um, uh, Colin. So uh, uh, I'm going to come to you as uh, you know and ask you a similar question to what I asked Hava, but framed a little differently, which is that you came out of the challenge with the lowest score of the top six. And so my question for you is, do you think that's going to be a liability for you when it comes to the jury if you make it to the finale? Okay. 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 I don't know why you needed to roast me like that. I thought this was Survivor, not the roast of Colin Fletcher Huerta. <laughs> Damn. Can't catch a break, man. Damn. <laughs> Did my homies like that? Now I got to do me like that? Hey, look, it's a fact of the game. It's how the challenge went out, went down. I just, you know, I'm calling it like it happened, Colin. Okay, well, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I, it was a trivia about, wait, so you're asking how, if that will be a liability? Yeah, the fact that you sure. did not know as much about your uh, competitors as the rest of the top six did. Honestly... I mean, do you think any of them are going to hold a grudge that like, oh, Colin doesn't know. He did not try to know me, not getting my vote. That's basically what I'm asking. Oh, OK. Uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Also, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, the majority, like I'd say the majority of this jury right now is like all my homies. So, like, I don't know. I mean, I know my homies pretty well um maybe i got the, the questions wrong maybe i didn't know brian's nickname but at the end of the day uh no um if i make i mean yeah so no sorry sorry for taking up your time <laughs> no 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 colin never apologize uh i always enjoy when you speak <laughs> up at the eliminations it's always fun um all right and then i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and bring it over to nora um before we get into this Nora, you have two more chances to play the immunity item that you, that you announced to your competitors that you had. How the hell do you know when to play it? Um, I think I answered this at one point and that's, I don't know when I should play it. That's that part of the problem of the game. Like the, the times when you think you're safe are the times that you should really be watching your back. You know what I mean? And but like the times when you feel safe are the times you don't want to play it. So I don't, I don't think that I'm going to need to play it anytime soon, but that's also wishful thinking. <laughs> so, so you do feel uh, safe tonight, I guess, is, is that, that's the real question then. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Heard it here first. Um, all right. Well, there's no sense and no, wait a second. I have one more question and this is for all six of you. And that question is, and I'm gonna go down the line here and I'm gonna ask for names from each of you. Who is your biggest threat left in the competition? And I'm gonna start with you, Nora. I would have to say Georgia considering she's had the most votes against her and she somehow slipped by this entire time. All right, Georgia, you're up. Um, well, I'll toss that right back at you, Miss Nora, and say that um, Nora has surprised me the most um, in this game and she has an idol and that is a huge threat. Um, but I, I'm having a tough time just saying like one person because this is a really, really powerful final six here. Even you, Colin, like every single one of you guys is like very, very 
sneaky trickster, which is awesome because it's fun to play against. Um, so I think that any single person in this top six could change this game at any moment if they wanted to. I'm threatened by all of you, frankly. <laughs> all right, Carly, you're up. I would say that it's less of a, uh, they're less of a threat, but more of like a, a um, competition. I, I would have to say Nora, and I like a good competition. I I love Nora, and I, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> all right, all right. Colin, what's up? You know what? You know what? I, this is a wild card. I think it's a wild card. I think it's Hava. I think it's Hava because Hava's, me and Hava have been playing a similar game. We've just been kind of chilling and goofing. Da, 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 da. But like, I mean, I like last week, it was go time. And I came in. And now, you know, I'm looking for Hava because she, you know, because you can change, you know, as you know, you can switch from the goofy, oh, like I'm just here for whatever. You can switch and then go right into who am I taking down and you won't, you don't even see them coming. So what's good? All right. Had some interesting answers. Pretty varied here tonight. Hava, you're up. It's Colin. Like he said, it. Like Colin has played the chillest game of Survivor that's like ever been played before, and he's doing so well at it. And like no one, like he, people are just not ready for Colin's game. And I just already like I can already see him like in the final two being like like I did like my technique was to do nothing and like look how good I was at it. Like you know what I mean? Like he is playing is a really good game right now. Um, and I'm like I'm so scared of Colin. Like look at him. He's like the scared. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so me and Colin are scared of each other. So like that canceled each other out. So we're just besties. So, but like, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Hava. Um, also, I've been wanting to say this all season, but your intro video um, moment where you're like doing your little dance, like that is everything. <laughs> There's like, a, I'll send you the whole two minute video of me dancing in public. <laughs> oh my God, I would be honored. We should post it in the Slack for us all. I'll, I'll, I'll send it later. <laughs> it's, there's also no music. It's just like streetcars going by. My mom's filming it. So it's really emotional. For That's them. even better. Yeah. The fact that there's no sound and that your mother is filming yeah. it. So please, please do share. Um, and then uh, last, but certainly, certainly not least, um, Emily. I want to give the easy way out and say myself because I think I got myself eliminated the last time by being kind of, I don't know, not smart in terms of strategy. <laughs> like I, I have, I said this before, but like I have the memory of a goldfish sometimes in the attention span of a goldfish. So like that has gotten me in trouble before and thankfully it hasn't gotten me in trouble now, but like I'm quoting someone by saying I am my own biggest threat. <laughs> you know what, Emily, I was wondering if someone was going to do it and you did. So thank you. I appreciate that. I feel like that's, a, you know. You, you gotta know yourself, you know? You gotta know all the good things and the bad things about you. And, you know, your ability to to look back on your previous time here and and look at it in a, with a critical eye. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you all so much for naming names. Uh, I appreciate that, you know, I always do. Jury, thank you so much. <clears throat> Please uh, feel free to stick around for the vote, but I will ask you to turn your videos off if you could. All right, everyone, the time has come to set another one of your fellow contestants adrift. In a moment, I will be asking each of you to private message me the name of the contestant that you feel deserves to be eliminated tonight. Before we get to the vote, Hava, as you won individual immunity this week, <clears throat> it is either yours to keep or you can bestow it upon one of your competitors. They keep it. All right. <clears throat> Surprising no one, Hava is keeping her immunity. Yeah, everyone's always coming for me. I just want to protect myself today. <clears throat> it's fair, valid, understood. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's get down to the vote. First up, is Colin, Hava, Georgia, Nora, 
Emily and Carly. All right, the votes in. Before I read the votes, I would like to ask that if anyone has an Im immunity item that they would like to play either on themselves or one of their competitors, please unmute yourself, hold the immunity item up and tell me who you would like to save. Um, Antonio, I will be using my immunity item tonight. Here it is. All right, yes, that is, uh, I can confirm, <clears throat> that is one of our immunity items, one that Nora found very early on in the game. It was um, the first one, if I might add. <laughs> yes, well done, Nora, well done. All right, so you heard it here. Nora has played her immunity item, and I just want to confirm you're playing it on yourself, I'm assuming? Yes, I'm playing it on myself. Okay, great. <clears throat> and she is playing it on herself, which means any votes cast for, for Nora tonight will not count. All right, and with that, let's get down to the vote. The first vote is for Georgia. Second vote is for Emily. Third vote is for Colin. The fourth vote is for Carly. We have a second vote for Carly. And the last vote, with the reminder that the vote currently stands at one vote for Colin, one vote for Georgia, one vote for Emily, and two votes for Carly. The final vote is for Carly. Carly. I had an immunity item. <laughs> Oh, oh so my. So positive. I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, I got this. And then I could have played it tonight. That's whatever. I'm okay. Oh, Carly, <laughs> I'm so sorry. That has got to sting, I'm sure. I'm okay. It's um, okay. <laughs> woo, Carly, wow. It's been so much fun. Um, I've enjoyed your presence here from day one. You've been such a cheerleader for your fellow competitors and every, no matter what team you were on, it didn't matter. Um, I appreciate the energy that you brought. Um, is there anything that you would like to say to your fellow competitors or to our audience before you head out? Uh, yeah. Um, keep it positive, y'all. Don't give in to any toxicity. Y'all are killing this game. Like, honestly, you pulled a blind side and I, I loved it. I like a good blind side. So I'm happy about it. I'm okay with this. Um, y'all are gonna do great and love y'all. All right, well, we'll see you in our jury, Carly. Bye. Thank you so much, Carly. Well, Carly has left. We are down to a top five with Nora, Georgia, Colin, Hava, and Emily. Whew, that was a nail biter. I don't know that we've had quite such a spread out vote before. Um, it looks like the game could be wide open at this point. That was the least amount of votes I've ever gotten. <laughs> I mean, did you hear that? Only one. And you know, that's it's a it's a, a first for Georgia. This is a momentous episode here. Um, no, I'm happy for you, Georgia. It's got to feel nice. Um, all right. Well, congratulations to the five of you. Um, we went from sixteen down to five. There is no challenge tonight. <sighs> so this brings us to the end of our ninth elimination on season two of Survivor TTS. Until next time. Welcome, Team Hogany Balsam Bath and Body Works. We're gonna actually mix it up and we're gonna have some questions uh, before the challenge tonight. You're so far off base, it's embarrassing. What the fuck was that? Ah! Uh.
Oh my god! 